Oh, back once again. I'm hungry after fighting that ferocious bird, so I'm gonna give me another bite to eat here. And uh, went to the house, changed the clothes a little bit. Yamma, ma, yum. Uh, I'm not tired yet, so we gotta find something else to do. Let's go hunt something else, so we. Let's see. Oh, oh, already did that one. Ah, here we go. This looks challenging. It looks like the town's boat is in trouble by the royal Ludroth. It is up to me to save the villagers and the fishing economy. I will save your boat. Which the last thing I do, I will save your boat. If this ever loads, there we go! Come on, Cha Cha, let's go catch up. Ass! Royal Ludroff is the. not the second biggest thing. He's bigger than Coral Pico, though. So he should prove more of a challenge. And this will also introduce those unfamiliar with Monster Hunter. To the familiar art of Monster Hunter players, which is carving tail. The main objective with anything with a tail is to sever said weapon of mass destruction, because some of the larger actually swing their tail around quite violently, and uh, that shit hurts. So you want to get rid of it as quick as possible. Online, I was known pretty well as the tail severer. I usually assumed the role and was a fairly, fairly good at it. Unless I was using a gun. Well, I severed a couple with a gun. Oh, pain in the face! Pain in the face! Somebody sent me a message on Coral Pico and said, What did you throw at him? Well, it clearly says right down there, paintball. And basically, yeah! See? Right for the tail. That's what we gotta go for. Oh no, good slap. See, that's what I'm talking about. You gotta be aware of both the eating end and the shitting end. And actually with Royal Lidreth, you have to be careful with their side flanks too because he likes to roll. Oh. Oh, heaven's thunder up your ass. Yeah. Tail sever already. And of course, the uninitiated or the noobs online usually go right for the tail when the monster is still parading around, which is the most dangerous and stupid thing you can possibly do. The tail's not going to disappear. You can wait until the monster leaves the area or it's downed. As long as you don't forget to carve it, you're fine. It also provides an extra material for your carving. Okay, so what was I talking about? Oh, yeah! Oh, so... Uh, what did he throw in his face? And I said, uh, dude, that's a paintball. So the thing about Monster Hunter is, you can see the map up there. And all those areas, basically, are really horribly defined. It looks like somebody took a crayola of crayon and just drew a bunch of shapes and connected them with horribly jagged lines. Those are referred to as zones and monsters will navigate around the map and sometimes especially with flyers it's really really hard to keep track of them unless you really really know them now i know ludra's path i know core people's path i know you know baroth's path i know all their paths i've hunted them enough damn it i should but still you get in the habit of painting monsters and basically when you paint them you'll see on the map and uh, we are in section 4 right now you will see that you can see my icon moving around and the whole area is surrounded by a circular glow which is basically the paint effect it allows you to keep track of monsters see he's moved and now the paint's moved haha <laughs> Make we'll curve the tail real quick And basically, paint isn't eternal. Some of the fights online can take upwards of 35, 40, 45 minutes. And, uh, 
you know, paint does wear off after a while. So you gotta keep repainting, that's why you always carry more than one paintball. Ouch, ouch, oh, oh wow. Okay, so that was, um, oh, Billy, up. That, that was, uh, that was unexpected and pathetically easy. We gotta find more of a challenge. This isn't really challenging anymore. What was I thinking? Ah! Well, damn it. That was easy. I saved the boat. I better get some fat steaks when I get back to town or something. Wah, wah. That one didn't look that big and it didn't look that small, so I probably won't even place on the um, record books for longest or shortest. I do love the underwater combat of this game. I will say that right now. I was scared of it at first when they announced it. It's like, oh yeah, Monster Hunter Tri is gonna have a lot of underwater combat. And when you see the guy or cruise, you'll understand why I was kind of terrified because at first he's very daunting. Take all my rewards here. I'm not gonna make any armor with him, but I like to stockpile shit for some odd reason. Yeah, I'll praise that. I don't need any more gems, so I just sell that shit too. But anyway, guys, uh, yeah, so we officially downed the Royal Lydruth. We won't be revisiting him any again, anytime soon again. Yeah, I didn't even place. 